aquí está bien, aquí no, Dios en todo para arriba, y aquí no me emplea limpia, escúcheme, cuídate, listos, vámonos. Good luck. He weighed in at 159 and entered the ring at 181. But he certainly needs to learn something while doing so. That's going to be the case. Maybe an opportunity for Sergio to let him feel his power. Hard left hand by Martinez. Solid combination by Martinez. Body shot drives Chavez into the ropes. Uh, have that much of a size disparity over your opponent is very difficult for a guy to hurt you. You see Chavez putting the money in the bank early, going down to the body. And he lands a jab upstairs, fires a right hand, misses with it. Hard to hit Martinez upstairs. Hit as cleanly as a pressure fighter might. Chavez moving his head pretty well. He lands a solid right hand to the belly of Martinez. Now Martinez trapped against the ropes. Vulnerable position for him. Ideally, he would fight the whole fight without his back on the ropes. Hard left hand by Chavez. His best punch of the fight. The, the punching power is not going to bother him. You see Chavez landing that perfectly DNA thrown left hook just like his father. Perfect left hook over the top of Sergio's right jab hand. But then he seems to fall into the doldrums, and the opponent gets off in the middle part of the fight. Pull that off against the larger Chavez. The one thing you got to give Martinez credit for is he's sticking to his boxing. He's not standing there toe to toe. But uh, there's a good clean shot from Sergio Martinez. Martinez lands a left and a right. A minute and a half into round three. And that's where he's hoping. I'm Simple sure. as that. Good, good hard hand. left hand by Martinez. Yes, Martinez landing more cleanly over the second half of this round. Good body shot by Chavez. After taking so much weight off of him, his body's trying to get itself back together at this point still. It appears that Chavez Jr. may be bleeding inside the mouth. Martinez shooting that straight left to the body, catching Chavez as he walks in. You know, he's, you know, he's not forcing Martinez back. Tripped him with a left hand, exactly. but the left hand landed flush. What? Pretty nothing, Martinez. I thought Chavez had some success in the first half of the second round. Faster, more fluid, great counterpuncher against a guy who has no choice other than to attack. Hard right hand by Chavez Jr. To step around Chavez, try not to let Chavez get to stand st still. Chavez looking like he's waiting on that opening, but he's never gonna find it like this. Hard right hand by Chavez, as Martinez was caught against the ropes. He said his hands were quicker than Chavez and that he wouldn't run from him the whole night. Hard right hook by Martinez. Left hand back to the body. Martinez doing a brilliant job of mixing it up and down. Ripping into the body. Good one, two by Chavez with the left hook to the body. Another left hook to the body. Chavez starting to get into a rhythm for the first time now as Martinez chooses to stay along the ropes and trade on the inside with him. Good shots by Martinez. Because Martinez has the quicker hands. So he can sit there and trade as much as he pleases. Good right hand by Chavez Jr. Martinez giving as good as he's getting. Big left hand by Martinez. A thudding punch to end the fourth round. Well, you saw Sergio end the round, punctuate the round with a beautiful straight left hand that landed right on Chavez's chin. Chavez took it well, but I don't know how long he'll be able to take those shots. 25 of 49 in power shots. He's finding the target. I'm in shape and ready to go. 37-year-old forcing the pace. The opposite handed fighter, that's the most open shot and the most regular safe shot to throw. It's two different classes of fighters so far. Fifth round of a schedule 12. Can Martinez hold up through the entire 12 rounds? Stamina for him to win. Understanding exactly what to do by a fighter who's as smart as any fighter we've seen. Given uh, the size differential, there's every chance that the second half of the fight could belong to Chavez. 
Most active round yet for Chavez. He's trying to turn up the tempo, landing some shots here and there. As the result of the contact that Martinez has been able to make. Good right hand by Chavez. First time in the fight. Chavez and Landis a good, good heavy, set. clean shots this round. Look at that. What a rally back by Martinez. Martinez rips him with eight straight shots. But still getting hit with the... Sergio's flying his head this round. But Chavez is apparently willing to pay that price to get inside. Great left hand by Martinez. Martinez. Why isn't he getting off more, Roy? Because he, Martinez would not allow him to set his feet straight in one line. And this is how he fights, and this is the only thing he's trying to do. He's used to it. Blood flowing again from the nose and the mouth of Chavez Jr. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. from the outside, and now Chavez very conscious of the blood as Martinez drives him into the ropes with four straight left hands. And suddenly the Argentines are dreaming of a knockout. Because he's in the ring with a super powerful cruiserweight. Martinez takes one, oh. lands a one, two in return. Takes another one, lands three in return. Takes another one, lands three in return. Yeah, right, you see Martinez, he just pops shot with the quick shots, and then he moves before Chavez can counter, right again. Pops shot with the left hand, step over to his right. Pops shot with the left hand, step over to his left. He's just doing the same thing all night long. One, two, one, two, go forward. He punches and he moves. He was cut by both Richard Williams and Sergei Zinzirik above that left eye. Cutman did a brilliant job for him when that eye was cut in the Zinzirik fight. A super featherweight that moved this much with their legs. His left eye, but he's the one who's landing punches. Not the Chavez Jr. with two seconds left in the 12th round, Martinez is. Punches of his own. This was an all Martinez round. And Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I mean, he just doesn't have that, that vicious gene that his father had. And he's telling him right. As Roy, you pointed out the way he picked that uppercut. And no spark, no rally from Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. yet. It gives you any indication he's about to take over. That's cycling and that soccer background. Two good right hands by Martinez. Good left hand by Chavez in there, but Martinez is landing multiple punches. You've got to punch with him. You've got to throw when he throws. You can't keep waiting in there. Chavez launches a rally here. Who had any thoughts of stopping the fight? I did. I said, Julio, show me that you want to win this fight. Get it better, but I'd like to see a little bit more. Thanks. He's trying real hard, but um, the speed factor is just too much, I think. Thanks, Freddy. Just told me that Chavez would be much too slow for Martinez. I didn't know, but he's far with Chavez. That's how he knew, but Chavez landed a big right hand right there, another right hand. Huge punches for Chavez. His two best, but once again, Martinez begins to rally back. Gets caught in the corner now. This is Chavez's big chance. Crowd knows it's Chavez's big chance. And Chavez is trying to. Oh, good Our shot. Right hand. Big shot by Chavez. Chavez another shot. One. Has a Martinez bloody has champion back. against the ropes. What an unbelievable rally. And Martinez is still still in the back. What an amazing answer back. Talent scout Samson Lukowitz is one of the best. Both top rank and golden boy. That's why promoter Lou DiBella has his crown jewel. Show what he's made of. Give these fans something to cheer about. Go oh, good shot. Right hand oh, by good Chavez. shot. And he hurt. The fight. he hurt Martinez with that right hand. Half a round left. Plenty of time. Oh, there you go. There he is. He's down. Big shots. Duck the right hand. 
Ducked the left hand, slipped the right. Now starts to fire back. Big trouble. Big trouble for Martinez. Oh. Martinez wants to fight his way out. Did Chavez knock him out with less than 20 seconds left? Good shot by Chavez. You can be saved by the bell in the last round. Martinez is going to make it. He's going to make it through. Down the stretch of this drama with about a minute to go. Chavez hurt Martinez with that big right hand. And moments later, catching Martinez against the ropes and landing another big right hand shot and the left that produced the knockdown. Three left hands. All to the winner by unanimous decision from Argentina. The unified middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Maravillos.